What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. But you guys, another episode of our Pokemon Star Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this episode, and I know you guys gotta be, show some love on that like button down below. It helps support the channel a ton, and I really appreciate that. So definitely be sure to do that. What was that Pokemon? Oh, it's a Spearow. I was like, what just fell down from the sky? If you missed the last episode, it was pretty nuts, man. We took on our first trial, our first totem beast. Which was pretty scary, man, and uh, I actually have one on my team now, as you can see from Queen our Feramosa, which is pretty nuts that I have a Feramosa. But we were able to evolve our Wimpod, and ultimately, we actually got a Sharp Beak here, which is kind of cool. Let's uh, let's give this Sharp Beak to um, Voltergeist. This is pretty solid stuff. Give it a nice little buff there. All right, let's. Uh, oh boy, we ran into another Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're cruising here. We got through the first Totem Beast. We're gonna work our way through Melee Melee Meadow and kind of keep going from there. We'll see how far we get, of course. And uh, yeah, man, we'll just do our best. But I got a quick question of the day for you guys. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm filming this on, on Monday, but you probably won't see it until Wednesday or something like that. I'm going away for a few days. Um, so I have to kind of do a little bit of pre-recording, just a few days worth. Uh, I'm going away with my dad on a snowmobile trip, actually. Uh, so we're going to be going to New York, somewhere in New York. And uh, here comes Ultra Recon Ashawu. Um, yeah, so we're going to be kind of chilling, uh, going snowmobiling. I used to snowmobile when I was a kid a lot. Um, oh, you know what? We have to be really careful because he could have Peck. I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, I like don't want to take a Peck to the face. So let's just go to Voltergeist and play it safe. Because that would be four times super effective. But yeah, I'm going to go on a snowmobile trip with my dad for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just a quick trip, man. Like, we're leaving Tuesday morning. It's uh, it's about, I don't know, uh, five-hour drive, I would say, to get to where we're going. We'll probably ride for a few hours, have dinner, get some sleep. And then the following day, ride all day. A couple hundred miles, 200 miles. And then uh, Thursday, we'll... Oh, he's got a Zero Aura, dude. Oh, my gosh, man. I want one so bad. Uh, we don't really have... I'm just going to Air Slash him. I feel like... I don't really have the best attack for him. I don't think he can do much of us. That did a sizable chunk. Oh, he's got home claws. Dude, I want one of these. This thing looks awesome. I need a Zero Aura so badly, guys. We're going to have to figure out how to get one somehow, some way. Zero Aura will be ours, dude. That is going to be the plan. Um, he's got Spark and he home claws. That did a sizable chunk. Um, so, yeah, and then I'll be back Thursday evening or something like that after we drive back on Thursday. And I'll be back to the grind on Friday like I normally would. So. Uh, you'll probably get an episode of this uh, definitely Monday, most likely Wednesday, and then probably Friday or something. But uh, as we kind of approach, uh, football season just ended. I'm actually su Oh, it's Cynthia! Say, do your Pokemon know any moves that can restore HP in battle? Uh, I have to defeat every trainer in Route 3 and she'll give me Roost. Alrighty then, well that's interesting. Um, ooh, it's a Red Ultra Recon Squad member. That's interesting. Who are you, crazy Ultra Recon Squad? Yahoo! Nahiligo, come to Zossi! Ah, my, my, what a cute trainer. Perhaps you'd like to help a fellow cutie capture a certain Ultra Beast. I am Zossi from the Ultra Recon Squad. I'm trying to recover a Nihiligo. It's right over there, see? Oh, a Nihiligo! That's a very interesting situation. And it just went in there. The hole there leads to Seaward Cave. It's an alternative. In an alternative Alola, it's called the Ultra Deep Sea, the natural ecosystem of Nihiligo. I'm still not used to this Seaward Cave, so can you please get in there and bring back the Nihiligo for me? Alrighty then. Well, that's actually pretty interesting. Oh my god! <laughs> Always gets me, man. Always gets me. Um, so yeah, the Super Bowl just happened, and I was very happy to find that uh, the Eagles won. So I know this is a few days old news now, but I'm very happy about the Eagles winning. If you're not an Eagles fan and you're a Patriots fan, I'm sorry. I know some of you guys are definitely big, uh, big Patriots fans. So, you know, if you are, I am sorry to hear that. Um, but me personally, we got Poison Barb. That's good, too. Uh, me personally, I'm actually a Jets fan. So I tend to just be happy when the... Uh, Patriots lose, but it was a good game. You can't you can't deny the fact that it was a good game nevertheless And my brother is a ginormous like huge huge Eagles fan. He's a really big Eagles fan. So um, All right, well, they're looking for each other. So that's cool, but uh, yeah, so my brother's a huge Eagles fan All right, whatever this Pokemon is we get to capture so he was stoked. He was jumping up and down He was freaking out. We got a male combi. That's lovely. Yep That's exactly what I was hoping for Exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, same kind of deal. I think it gets Gust, so we have to probably switch out here and just play it safe. Let's go to Voltergeist, and I'm gonna catch it just just to have it. I mean, you never know. Um, 
Look at Lily hiding in the bushes back there. Gonna go for Gust. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I'll catch it just to have it. I don't know. Like a male combi, obviously, we're not gonna use. But nevertheless. So my brother was stoked about the Eagles winning. I know there was like crazy, crazy rioting and stuff in Philadelphia. But, you know, props if you're an Eagles fan. Really cool. So anyway, our question of the day is what is your favorite sport? So I don't know if you guys like follow sports at all, if you have any favorite sports, whatever. For me, it is baseball, man. And we are approaching baseball season. Pitchers and catchers for baseball starts this week. I'm actually a Mets fan. It's a rough life sometimes being a Mets fan. It really is because they definitely are not the best team in the world. They're not the worst team. You know, they were in the World Series just a few years back, so it's not like they're terrible. But, you know, they're not they're not that great. So, you know, the hope is that this year is going to be a good year for the Mets. I'm going to the opening day at uh, City Field. Very excited about that. I just love watching baseball, man. I'm a big baseball fan. So, uh, to me, it's really cool. Wants to learn double team. You know what? Let's learn double team over Confused Ray, I think. Double team could come in handy. You never know when you need double team. You never know. All right. And we did catch this uh, Combi here. And we're going to name it uh, Mail. We're going to name it Mailman. Uh, the reason I'm naming him Mailman is because if you guys remember when I was trying to get a shiny female Combi, I ended up hatching a shiny male, a lot of shiny male Combis, but uh, one of them, and I, I screamed, it's another male, man, and a lot of people just made the joke about it, like a mailman, like a guy that delivers mail. I don't know. I thought it was funny, so that's that. I mean, we have a Combi now, and it's it's a mailman, and it's it's in our box, so no big deal. Let's keep it moving, man. <laughs> Let's keep it going. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for baseball season, and uh, that that's like the sport that I'm I'm digging. So escape rope here. All right, let's see what we got here. We we'll see see what's going down. We gotta find this Nihiligo, which I feel like was really cool. Oh, and this is our first encounter. It's a Cub Chew, but we already have a Cub Chew, so we get to skip it. Uh, we'll get the next Pokemon because the duplicates. So this is our first encounter for Seaward Cave, and again we get to skip it because we already have one. So let's see if we can. Here's the Nihiligo. Pretty cool. I, I think the the writing on this though, making a Hiligo here is really cool. I definitely think that's a cool idea. The Nihiligo sure runs fast. Hey, it's you. What you doing here? You're helping the Ultra Recon Squad recover the Nihiligo. Why would you even do that? Are you an idiot? Oh, I gotta battle him. And he just he just hit me with the Alola. Yo, Gladion, look at that theme for Pokemon Trainer Gladion. He's got a Pawniard. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely a Gladion-like Pokemon, though. A Pawniard. Hey, yo, Queen. Let's make this happen. He's level 13. Watch me hit him with the Brick Break, dude. Four times a week to fighting. Goodbye, Pawniard. I'm gonna kick you in the face. That wasn't too bad. Got kicked in the face there. Good job, Queen. That's level 15. I see it. Looking powerful. Gets that speed boost. Does he have type null? He's got Hone Edge. Okay, so he doesn't have type null. So what do I do against Hone Edge? I feel like I gotta go into our Ultra Tora Cat, which looks incredible, man. I'm excited to see this in battle. Look at that, man. It's got those crazy colors on its back. We get an Intimidate off, which will somewhat negate his Swords Dance here. This is scary, those Swords Dancing. Look at him running, like, in place. All right, I think Ember is actually stronger just because Hone Edge is really physically bulky. All right, cool. So we just bopped him, dude. See you later. Good job, Nyan. Oh, man. Gladion doesn't look happy. He's not even using his real team, he said. Phew, Gladion, you can't just challenge people when you get angry. <sighs> the Heather Foundation worked really hard to bring in these Ultra Beasts, and these Ultra Recon Squad goons want to take them for themselves? Unacceptable. Yeah, that's true. Hey, there's a reason the Ether brought in these Ultra Beasts into Alola. So, you know, if you see an Ultra Recon Squad member trying to steal them, make sure to knock their stupid helmets off, okay? Alola. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for helping out. Well, I'll talk to this little dude. Venom and um. All right. So, we rescued the Nihiligo, which was solid. I guess I never got my encounter, but we can always go back. Thank you, Adraf. And I should let, uh, thank Faramosa too. Here, le let me do this. Uh, heal me up, but that's good. Do you think that Hiligo is cute? I do. Do you, uh, do you know it can reconstruct itself to look entirely different? Like that Lucimine lady from Ether Foundation. Hmm, that's peculiar. Ah, enough chit chat. I need to bring you back to Captain. Let's go outside, trainer. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the cave at some point, but for now we'll just kind of progress because I do want to try to get to, uh, to Hala. 
Moshi Moshi A drop. I just finished Guzma's trial. An acquaintance of yours. Oh, you're the famous Lily, the one who summoned the Ultra Beast Lunala. Who's this girl? A drive, you? You've been seeing another girl? Unacceptable! Yo, Lily's not happy that I've been talking to another girl. So we're gonna have to battle Ultra Trainer Lily here. Let's see what she's got. She's got an Ultra Pop Leo! Yo, look at them eyes! What is that? Ultra Pop Leo. I don't know if uh, if our friend here is gonna be very good against Ultra Pop Leo, so. I'm gonna go into Voltergeist, I think. Let's switch out into Voltergeist. Oh my gosh. Growl. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it with a Thundershock. Although I feel like Air Slash does more, doesn't it? Uh, Thundershock does 40, 60, 120. Air Slash does 75. Um, plus 30 something, 100. Plus stab. I think Air Slash does more. We're gonna assume Air Slash does more. Yo, this thing, that was a crit though. This thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. Queen grew to level 16. Here comes Vulpix. Let's just go to Alolan Vulpix. I feel like I could take one hit. I'm gonna air slash it anyway. Oh, he's got Ice Shard. Yo, look at that animation. That was cute. It like jumped up in the air and did like a little swirl. Dude, look at the power of this air slash. Love it. And Zara Aura. So she has a Zara Aura. I want one. I want a Zara Aura. All right, what do I do against this thing that'll be strong? I mean, I'm just gonna go into Nyan, I think. I'm just gonna go into the homie Nyan. Let's do it. Big Nyan coming in. Hit him with an Intimidate. And he is gonna go for Spark. Yo, Lily's got this cool team over here. Oh, the Para, though. That's annoying. That's a strong Pokemon. Let's go for Fire Fang. Hit him with the Fire Fang. Fury swipes. Okay. We'll see how much that's gonna do. A crit. Ouch. Ouch. Dude, calm down. I need to hit this Fire Fang. Okay, we did. Big Fire Fang coming off. Good damage. I'll go for another one. I think we're good. I think we're okay. Let's go for another Fire Fang here. Quick attack. Should be okay to live that. Big Fire Fang here. This should knock it out. Okay, cool. So we got rid of Zeraora, which was good. That thing was scary. Good job, Voltergeist up to 16. All right, sweet. Good stuff, team. It's fine, I guess, as long as I'm still the kawaii girl in your heart. Hey, Idrive, you beat all those Ultra Recon dudes? I was gonna do myself. The people are bugging me to kick them out of town. Huh, what's wrong, Lily? Did these Ultra Recon bozos hurt you? A, a little, they broke my heart. Lily, what the heck are you even talking about? This is probably a misunderstanding. My Ultra Recon squad was not ordered to bother anyone. Our target is simply the Ultra Beasts. Hey, why are you capturing the UBs? I love them. They make live, uh, lively Alola much livelier. Yeah, Kukui really likes all the moves these UBs can do. So stop pestering the UB and get your men off this area. Right, we're off to Iki Town for our grand trial. Are you coming, Mr. Guzma? Nah, I gotta get back to the trial site. There's more trial goers for me to slam. But I could at least walk you lots to Iki Town. Hurry up. Alright, so going to Iki, Iki Town now. And there's Cynthia, which again, we'll, we'll eventually go back and face her. Oh, there's old Holla gonna make you holla. You should really see this place during the day. Okay, well thanks for your endless insight. Oh, it's a Team Rocket guy. I'll give you something. A Soothe Bell, sweet. Thanks for the Soothe Bell, homie. All right, old Holla gonna make you holla. He's chilling. All right, we gotta battle this dude. Let's do it, I'm ready for it. Another Ultra Recon member. Look at my shiny Poi Pole. You have a shiny Poi Pole? No way. No way, dude. He's gonna have a shiny Poi Pole, isn't he? You think he is? You think it's gonna be shiny? It's not even shiny, dude. He lied to me. I've been deceived. He said it was a shiny and it's not. Do I dare just stomp here? Dude, I just don't wanna take a peck to the face. I feel like that'd be so annoying. Let's go into... Let's just go to Voltergeist again. I'm just gonna go to Voltergeist. I just like don't wanna take a peck, man. It's got Fury Attack, all right. Eating these hits up. Om nom 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 nom. Of course, they hit so many times with their Fury Attacks. My Fury Attacks don't do that. Air Slap. I wonder if he's gonna have a Shiny Poi Pole. Like, will he actually have a Shiny Poi Pole is the question. I don't know if I wanna believe it. Like, I wanna see a Shiny Poi Pole, but at the same time, I don't want to be deceived. 
He's got another one. Hey, it is a shiny boy pool. Check that bad boy out. He wasn't kidding. He was serious business. That dude's got a shiny boy pool. There you go. I mean, I just obliterated it, but that's kind of sick. I appreciate you uh, showing off your shiny boy pool, buddy. That was nice of you. All right, so we beat the we beat the old tree kind dude. No big deal. All right, and Rotom Power ended up uh, ended there, so we got a super potion. Let's get our way back to town here. I don't know if there's any more trainers. I think we're good. Yeah, we could just keep going. Let's make it to Iki Town, dude. I want to do this grand trial. Oh, there's the Cosmog chilling there. All right, to Iki Town we go. Hopefully they heal us first, but maybe, maybe not. Here we go. It's Lily Chan, Mini Chan. It's time for the grand trial. Your next opponent is the wonderful Kahuna Hala. I wonder which one is stronger, Kahuna Hala or Totem Feramosa. The Melee Melee Kahuna is the trainer who can use the fighting type Pokemon to the fullest. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves. And there he is. In full force, in the flesh. Kahuna Hala. Here to make you Hala. I feel like I could just use Voltergeist, man. I really do. I'm going for it, man. We're just going to click Air Slash and obliterate him. Congratulations on clearing Guzma's trial in the Verdant Cavern. I suppose you're here to battle the Kahuna. It's on, dude. I'm not even going to heal. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this. Let's do it, man. The Grand Trial. Can't let my dreams be dreams anymore. Look at him stomping. Ho! Oh! Hey, Drive, I am expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Shall we begin? The final trial on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me. It is known as the Grand Trial. Old Hala will hear going all out. Let the Grand Trial begin. Harumph. All right, Grand Trial with Kahuna Hala. Kicking things off with a Stuffle. All right, I don't think Stuffle is any match for the Voltergeist. I just don't, I don't think. The stuffle is any match for me. It's level 15 though, which is pretty high level. He's got baby doll eyes. No big deal. Good play though. Good, good strategy. But we're gonna air slash your face in. And uh, I got that sharp beak. So this is gonna do a, a, just a lot. It's gonna do a lot, stuffle. I'm sorry that I had to do that to you because you're a cute little bear. Cabrawler. All right, so that's like his signature Pokemon. Same deal though. I feel like we just one shot everything with air slash. Voltergeist is such a beast. We just have a huge type advantage right now. But at least the wild, like the trainer Pokemon are catching up to where we have. Passimian! Yo, that would actually be really tough if I didn't have Voltergeist. But I do. Voltergeist, just hit him. We went for it. He has, he has a rock type move. All right, well, we lived. And now he can actually go for a ground type move, I think, if he wanted to destroy my soul. But I'm going to trust the fact that I can live another hit and just air slash. He's going to smack down again. All right, so Voltergeist needs to hit this air slash. Good. Now, we're not out of the woods yet, because I don't know if I can one-shot whatever he has next. So, I probably have to switch. Or heal. But Voltergeist up to 18. Good job, buddy. And a... He has a buzz wall? Who gave him one of those? All right, well, let's see Repotion. And see what he's going to do. Who gave him that thing? I mean, I know I'll one-shot him. Power Punch. I think I'll one-shot him easily if I Air Slash. I'm gonna Air Slash. This should just one-shot him. Okay. Dude, that was scary though. You know, my dude just busted out a Buzz Wall. He wasn't messing around. Jiminy Christmas. Add in Ultra Beast to his team. Excellent! You and your partners were amazing. Reminds me of a certain trainer in the past. Tabu Coco digs it. Tabu Coco definitely digs it. Perhaps Tabu Coco is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Phytinium Z. That'll actually be pretty good for Feramosa. Not that I really use Z moves a whole lot, but your Voltergeist is a beast. Just saying. Just saying. We got that stamp of approval. Thank you for that. Alrighty then. You obtain the Phytinium Z. This is the dance you're gonna do. You're gonna do some punching. That all out pummeling though. And with this victory, you've cleared all the trials. Sweet. 
Do I get to ride on my Uber now? Yeah, Kukui Uber. Whoa there, Uber ride. Look at that, Kukui delivered my brand new Uber ride. Uber, your Uber is here. Although I believe it will be better in the hands of a tech savvy person. Take it, young trainer. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. We got the Uber Kukui. Why don't you hop on? Oh my gosh, is it really gonna make me hop on the Uber? It is. This is gonna, oh my goodness. What is going on? What is going on? Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Congrats, your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid out and used at the trainer school. Amazed that you won without even using your Z power. And why don't you stop to the Alola Photo Club? Alrighty then. A little help from Toro's A Drive, you'll be able to smash those big rocks on Route 1. I got a little something for you too, which is full swipe. That's, I guess, okay. And it's a move that leaves him with 1 HP. Uh, we can evolve a regular Pokemon into an Ultra Beast? That's right, the other found this out doing extensive research on evolution. Okay, so they said something about Cutie Fly into Buzzwool if it knows full swipe. Is that what she said? I missed the text, so I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure if you get a Cutie Fly, you can evolve it into Buzzwool by teaching it full swipe. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. So. You're getting so strong already, Lily. I'm sure How and Selene are gonna be impressed the next time. All right, Mini Chan, do you wanna follow Lily to the next island or do you wanna to return to Other Paradise? I guess she's going to uh, the next island with us. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap up here, man. The next episode, we're gonna check out 10 Carat Hill and work our way to the next island, so that looks pretty fun. But thank you guys for checking out this episode of Pokemon Star Nuzlocke. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hit that like button down below if you are, and subscribe if you are new. My name is Dan. I also go by A Drop. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thanks so much for checking out my last video. If you like that one, you'll definitely like this one. And be sure to subscribe for more as I post Pokemon videos every single day.